Hey everyone, Ruffy and Raffles here, as you can tell. Nice picture, ain't it? But anyways, this is going to be a tutorial on how to play your P PS2 games on your PC. This is recommended that you have, well, your minimal requirement is like 1.6 gigahertz of processor and the recommend the recommended is like 2.0 gigahertz processor so 2.0 whatever you want to call it but yeah you're going to want to download four files um they will be in the description so yeah once you do you will get these four files I'm not going to show you how you download it because it's really simple. You go there and click on the download button. I'm not really going to waste too much time doing that. So, yeah. You'll get these four files. One, you're going to need to install this. Allow it. You're going to want to do all this. Now, this, do not uncheck it unless you are certain your DirectX drivers are fully updated so if they are if you know for a fact they are I think the newest update is like 11 or something like that or 10 9 or 10 one of the two so if they are you can delete and uncheck it I'm not actually going to go through the process you can save it anywhere you want it only takes 9 megabytes yeah 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 mine will go act, I, I guess I'm doing it mine will go by quick as shit because mine's already all done but yeah Mine's all there. But once it gets to this point, it's gonna bring up another box. If you don't, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't unchecked the direct X thing, it's gonna do this. It's gonna do that. Mine was already done, so it did it. As you see, it flashed away pretty quickly. That means it's there. It's already finished. Now it's completed. You close it. You'll get this. We're not using it just yet, though. I guess we this stuff up here too. All right. Now what you want to do is extract this. Extract the PS2 BIOS folder or 7-zip. You'll need either WinRAR or 7-zip to unzip it. There I'm pretty sure there's other file programs that can do it, but this is the easiest ones. I probably can I actually probably should have just skipped, didn't do this and just told you where to put it. Okay, now that that's done, you're going to go up to your, this, you're going to go to your documents, you're going to go into here, your PC SX2, and then you're going to basically copy this file right here. I'm not going to actually do it since all mine are already in there. You click on it, there are a lot of knit in here. There is 39 files in here, and there are 39 files in here. Now what you want to do, wait actually, don't do that, you should actually now extract this, now there are a lot of extracting, there it goes, we're going to click on this one first, allow it, it's not going to do it for me, since I already have it installed. You're gonna do all that, and then you're gonna once all that thing installed, you click on go away. You click on this; it'll do it'll do a flash black screen. It'll be there. Now you're now you're able to connect your PS3 controller to your um, computer, and it'll automatically read it. It knows exactly what it is. However, with this, I know it says PS3, but for some reason, even doing that, it won't let you use the analog stick. The two analog sticks. So that's what this program will come into handy. It's a little less usable, but you're going to install it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just install it for hell of it. I don't need to, but. There. You're going to run it. Mine's already running, but I'll run it anyway. Oops. Close that. You're going to bring that up. You don't need to move that open. I'm just going to come up to this. However, what you're wanting to do. Well, I guess I could. There it is. Plug it in. 
And then it's going to connect to it. Oops. Huh? Again, I hate this mouse. Okay, now you see it tells you what it is. DualShock 3. Itchy. Okay, now what you want to do is actually put, make it a, set it to this option, the Xbox 360 controller emulator. Because for some reason, when you click on PS the PlayStation 3, it won't let you use your right analog stick. It will let you use your left one, but for some reason it won't let you use your right. So click on the Xbox One, the 360, and then you're going to click on Enable. Now, you can close that. Now, what you want to do, now you can open this. I'm actually, and then you can, now what you do is either click, if you're going to use a disc, you can use the plugins option, the plugin option. If you're going to use an ISO, a rip disk or whatever, you click. You obviously use ISO. Now, the first thing you want to do is going to go in here. It's going to bring up all kinds of stuff when you do this the first time. Wrong thing. Oh yeah, that is right. There it is. It's going to bring up this option. If you're this. If you're going to move, okay, use this, the oops, use the top option if you're going to use um, the discs mostly. If you're going to use ISOs, click on the second option. The third option I wouldn't use. Which one, one of the first things that come up is your BIOS. You click what region you're from, really, what year. I'd say it would probably be best actually click on the newest year. I think about it. And then you go click on OK. Now that that's all done, you can go into controller, click on plugin settings. As you see, mine's already set up, but yeah. You just click on these and press the button on the controller. You can use any controller you want, really. PS3 is easier since this is since obviously a PS2 thing. But now that you do this, you could come here, browse, clear ISO. I'm not going to, since I'm since it's, well, I could have, but it makes my list longer if I do as you see and then you click on it and then once you have it, the ROM or IS, the ISO that you want clicked on you now click on system you can either full or fast I recommend doing the full if you have a pretty if you have a powerful system you can probably do the other one I don't know my processor is extremely good so since I'm recording and doing this, I'm, yeah, it might be a little, little bit slow. Like here. I don't know, PlayStation, when I bring it to the PlayStation 2 symbol, like when it says it right here, it's always slow for me, but once it's done doing that, it loads perfectly. Um, but yeah, you guys do that. not much else to do really oh and one thing I probably should mention when you first open this it's actually gonna I don't have it active anymore do I no it's this thing it'll automatically bring this up you don't need it hence why I have it unchecked but do not close this otherwise it'll end the emulation See, it might be a little slow. I say it ain't really, but it might be in the video. To me, it looks perfectly, but in the video, it might be a little slow since my process ain't extremely good. Um, yet. Keyword, yet. But anyway. So yeah, that's practically everything. Press start, skip all this stuff. So you can now do that. Because I haven't really gotten very far, but still. I haven't played it that much. Ah. See, I've only played it for 51 minutes. Click here since I can't go to the town since the online don't exist anymore. For this game anyway. There you go. You can use the analog stick. 
it's a little del it's a little slow because I'm recording, but well, that's really slow. You can do everything you want. Okay. So yeah, that's basically everything. There's nothing else really to do. If you close this, it closes everything. I'll even show you. See? And then you close this, it closes everything. And one other thing, if you want to use, like, if you don't want the disc inserted anymore, just go no disc. I know it instantly unclicked, I believe. But yeah. I have no idea what that is, but whatever. It, it makes you browse for a certain file, I don't know what it is. So yeah. You know, cheats, host file system, and all this other stuff. Pointless, really. This is all that stuff. There's nothing much in here. I mean, if you want, you could change your audio and whatnot. I believe if I remember correctly. I don't remember what button is. I don't remember what it is though. Here we call. Well, that's this thing. I forget what it is, but there's a thing. If your computer's a little slow, you can click on it, and it makes your it makes it work a little bit better. But I forget where it's at. I actually believe it's somewhere. Oh yeah, that's one of the things that that's playing for a reason. I forget. What that is? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's everything really. <laughs> um, there's not much. Again, with the emulators, there's not really much you can do with them. You can use cheats if you wanted to. I I see no point in using cheats, but that's me. Get rid of that because I have it right here. All right. That's everything, really. Oh, I guess I can delete that too. And soon my Unite walkthrough will be, will be started. I'm going to do another part or two before I upload them, though. Just, just in case there's a day I'm lazy, I already have a part made. So yeah, hopefully this helps, have any questions, ask me, um, like, sub, comment, you all know the drill, see you all next time.